Hey guys, it's me, Cubix, and this is my GAN 356XS. It's an amazing cube. I have done about 3,000 solves on it now, and at first I really didn't like it, but as I used it more and more, and as I got used to the turn style, I started to grow very, very fond of it. I ended up doing kind of a weird modification to this cube that I want to share with you in this video. It really takes this cube from like a 9 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10, and I, I honestly love this cube now. So here's my setup video. Hope you guys enjoy. So a common theme for this entire procedure is essentially to slow down the cube. The cube is just really fast and flexy on default settings, and so what I want to do with this cube is actually slow it down with some lube, tighten it so that it's more stable, and then change the magnet settings so that it's the strongest, so that there's more tactility, so that everything's just a little bit more controllable. As you can see, the magnets are already on the strongest setting, and again, this is just to make sure that the cube holds its shape a little bit better. I'm gonna be using max command on all of the center pieces, so that, again, things are just a little bit gummier and a little bit slower. A small amount of this makes a big difference, so don't overdo it. So I essentially just put some lube on the inside of the centerpiece as well as the base, and that's just going to allow it to glide a little bit more smoothly onto the core, as well as allow the springs to actually rotate a little bit more freely on the piece. All right, so with the core assembled, uh, you can see that I haven't put any springs on it, I haven't put the center caps on it yet. Um, just because of the nature of the core with its sort of winged T design, uh, the pieces are just going to stay on anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do next is actually assemble the pieces first, and then I'll get to the springs. So for the last edge piece, this is where I actually apply the piece lube. What I'm going to be using is the Cubicle Labs Engstrom Gravitas. So this is a very, very thick lube, and I think a lot of people use it for cores. Um, but this is actually a really thick lube that's also very nice for pieces to slow down the turning of cubes, such as the GAN 356XS. So you're going to want to be a little bit liberal with this stuff. I actually have to reapply this three or four times my first go around. Um, the most important part is the base of the piece. We also want to get the side of the piece as well. After that, just pop the last piece in and the cube is mostly assembled. So now here's my hack. I think a lot of people like the dark blue tensioning nuts uh, for the XS, and I did as well. I did a lot of solves on it and I got pretty good times. But for me, even on the tightest settings with the blue nut, it just wasn't quite springy enough. I think a lot of people would probably like these clear springs, but for me, the thing that I really liked about the GAN RSM was how snappy it was. And even though I tried putting the tension on the tightest settings for the XS, the XS just felt really sort of flexible and sloppy regardless. So what I did instead was not use these springs at all. I used the GES version 3 springs instead. Now, a disclaimer, it's a little bit of a dumb idea because you can't actually buy these springs separately anymore, and so the only way to get it is if you get a cube that comes with them. For example, the 356M, which is another $30 cube. So I'm not really suggesting that you get an XS and then you get a 356M so that you can effectively spend $90 for a cube that's really good. That just seems like a waste of money. But if you're someone who happens to have both cubes and you have a set of springs, you might want to try using these. So the springs that I found work really, really well with the 356XS were basically the tightest springs possible. Now, unfortunately, I have the yellow springs in the 356M right now, and I like those springs in this cube. Um, so I'll go with the next tightest one, which is going to be the green springs. As an aside, this design or this packaging of the GES nuts is so much better than the first version of the GES nuts that Gan ever made. So just for comparison, you can see that when I compress both springs together, the clear one basically bottoms out before the green one does. And so what that's telling me is that even on the tightest setting for this white GES nut, it's not going to be as strong as the screen spring being depressed halfway. I like my cubes to be on slightly tighter tensions, which is why I've opted to actually put the green springs in and mark it at 0 
So that effectively turns the screw down as much as it can um, on springs that are relatively stiff. And there you go. This is this is the cube assembled. So what you'll want to do now is just turn the puzzle, work the lube in, and we're actually going to slow it down even more because this isn't enough. So the last thing you want to do to make this cube really good is to add Cubicle Lab silk. So I don't really know the chemistry behind it, but the lube essentially slows down whatever is already inside the cube. So if you have some low viscosity lube, it's going to make it a little bit higher viscosity. And then if you have some high viscosity lube already in here, like I do with the Gravitas, uh, it's going to make it even thicker. The instructions do say to do two drops. I found that with this dropper bottle with such a tiny nozzle, it's relatively difficult to do drops. Um, so I just do like a light squeeze um, and I put in about one or two milliliters. So with these settings of the strongest magnet, green GS nuts set on 0.6 and lubricated with some of the thickest lubes that I have, the corner cutting isn't spectacular, it's about 45 degrees, um, but the important thing is that the cube is very, very controllable. And because it's so controllable now and so stable, it's not really flexy or spongy anymore, I don't really care that much about corner cutting. Also, fun fact, I think this cube was 68 grams stock. It's now 65 grams, so you shave about three grams off this way too. So anyway, that's how I set up my GAN 356XS. So with these settings and the modifications that I've done, this is now my new main. It's actually replacing my 2017 GAN Air SM, which I also really love. It's got such a good feel, it has good performance, and most importantly, it's very, very controllable, which for me and my turn style is really important. Again, I would highly recommend you guys try a spring swap. Um, just use basically the tightest springs you have, the GES version 3 nuts, because that's going to be compatible with the core. If you don't have these springs, please do not buy a different cube for the sake of getting the springs. It's not worth it. Um, I think you can make do with the stock clear springs that come with the 356XS. For me, I just need a little bit more springiness, which is why the spring swap worked really well for me. But even before doing the spring swap, just slowing down the cube using lube and changing the magnet strengths helped a lot. And I would have been happy if I didn't have these springs. I was just lucky enough to have these springs laying around that I wasn't using um, and doing the spring swap helped a lot for me. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope some of you try it out if you have access to these springs. Unfortunately, you can't buy these Oh god. Unfortunately, these springs are no longer being produced, so you're gonna have to buy another cube if you really, really want to try it. Um, or... I don't know, hopefully GAN can bring this back or something. I don't know, honestly, to me, this is peak GAN. I think this is the best tensioning system, and it's much better than, than this one. Just because you actually get more options, um, and you get a little bit better customization. I think this is overly complicated, and it gives you really good precision for very small range of tensions. It just so happened that the tension that I wanted was beyond the range that was capable of this system. So let me know what you think if you do try it. And if you're not able to get these springs and try it yourself, hopefully the video was still entertaining anyway. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, toodles.